Did I mention I had to drill holes in my RV? It's never a good day when you have to drill holes in your RV. Man, I was not looking forward to this repair job. We've got one of those Murphy beds in our travel trailer, and I swear, I think they put the Murphy bed in first and then built the entire rest of the trailer around it because there really isn't any way to maintain or repair this thing. You've got to take the whole thing out and hope that you can get it back in when you're done. This was a very frustrating job. I recommend starting early, 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 early in the morning when the hardware store opens, maybe even like an hour or two before, and then making multiple trips back and forth to the hardware store. You know what? It's an RV, it's a travel trailer. Take it to the hardware store parking lot and do it there. That would probably be the smartest thing. I didn't think of that. Hindsight, you know how that goes. Let me show you what the problem is here. There are these clips at the top that hold the Murphy bed in when it is in its stowed upright position for travel. We thought that they were for travel only and apparently the previous owner of our travel trailer thought the same thing. If you look down at the bottom where the piano hinge is, you'll see that it's kind of starting to come apart from the piano hinge. It's because they used the wrong kind of screws when they did this. These are like one inch wood screws that are screwed into a piece of aluminum tubing that are designed to carry the weight of two adults doing adult things. You know, sleeping, reading, watching TV. I don't know what you were thinking about. So I had to take the whole thing apart. I was actually pretty scared about taking out the last couple of screws on this piano hinge here because there is about a half inch to an inch drop from where the bed hangs to the floor. Very nerve wracking process. Here's a good look at what it looks like when the bed is removed from the vertical frame member behind the couch. Here's a couple of pictures of the blowout where the screws pulled out of the framing. So let's get after it. I picked up some bolts and nuts and washers from the hardware store. I'm gonna use the washers hoping that they won't pull through the wood or through the aluminum tubing. And then on the backside where the piano hinge is, I'm hoping that the piano hinge itself is just big enough to take care of that all by itself. So here I've got every single screw removed from the underside of the Murphy bed. Eh, this was, this was really scary. It dropped down a little bit. Then I went ahead and did a couple of test fits. It took me quite a while to figure out a good strategy for making sure that the holes on the back side of the frame lined up with the piano hinge holes, which also lined up with the brand new holes that I've got to put through the front side of the frame. I scratched my head for a while on this. Finally, I got the idea of taking two bolts about a foot apart in the center of the piano hinge and just really focusing in hard on making them work. Once those were in, I bolted the piano hinge to the frame temporarily and then started drilling all the rest of the holes. There were 17 holes here to drill, I think. It was, it was an odd number. It was really weird. And started putting all the bolts through. I'm not even gonna show you what it took to put the mattress back up. We got scrap wood, we got shims, we got everything you can imagine. We tried to just muscle it into place. This you're gonna to have to use your imagination on and whatever resources you have available, wherever you happen to be when you're doing it. Getting this thing up that little bit to get it to line up with the latches at the top was probably the most difficult part of the job physically where there was some mental frustration all along the way. But in the end, she closes up real nice, and there's no way you can see the repair was done from the rest of the trailer. You have to really look hard for it in order to see that it's been done. We lost a piece of trim in the process. Again, you can't see it when the couch is folded up or when the bed is down. It did cut down on some of the noise. Those two pieces of trim that are at the top of the frame member there are what's causing all that squeaking when you're sleeping. Hope you enjoyed the repair here. Hope it helps you if you are running into this same problem. And if you aren't, make sure you continue to latch those latches every single time you put the bed up and be very careful not to hyperextend that hinge because that's what got us and apparently the previous owners of this trailer. Thanks for coming along on the journey where we are living for a living. There's a video right here I think you'll enjoy next. I'll see you over there.